The electromagnetic spectrum. In this nugget, we're going to look at the electromagnetic spectrum, which is a collection of waves. But first, let's think about what a wave is. A wave is a method of transmitting energy without transmitting matter. There are two types of wave, transverse and longitudinal. Let's look at transverse. A transverse wave is a wave whose vibrations or oscillations are perpendicular, or at right angles, to the direction of travel of the wave. Let's see what that means. These particles are vibrating up and down, but the wave is travelling from left to right. The vibrations are at right angles. A wave transfers energy without transferring matter. The molecules are moving up and down, about a fixed point. They are not moving towards the right like the wave is. They will stay where they started. The fixed point they vibrate about is called the equilibrium position. The highest point of the wave is called our peak or crest, and the lowest point is the trough. One complete cycle of the wave, starting at the equilibrium position all the way up to the peak, down to the trough and back, is called a wavelength. You can measure the wavelength from peak to peak and trough to trough as well. How far the particles move up and down is called the amplitude of the wave. It's measured from the equilibrium position to the peak or to the trough. How long it takes for a particle to travel a complete cycle or go through a whole wavelength is called the period of the waves, and the number of waves per second is called the frequency. The electromagnetic spectrum is made up of transverse waves. These are waves of vibrating or varying electric and mechanical fields. Because it's made of fields, it does not need particles to help it propagate or travel, unlike mechanical waves like sound. It can travel through a vacuum. It's how light reaches us from the sun through space. All waves in the electromagnetic spectrum can travel through a vacuum. As it's an electric field, it can make charged particles like electrons vibrate. This is particularly useful when sending signals to antennae because the waves make the electrons in the antenna move and start a current, so we can send radio signals. The electromagnetic spectrum is a group of waves. You'll have probably heard of some of them before. We have gamma rays, x-rays, UV, visible light, infrared radiation, microwaves and radio waves. Gamma rays are the highest frequency and shortest wavelength, and the frequency decreases and wavelengths increases as we go down the spectrum towards radio waves. We're going to look at each one in turn, their dangers and their uses. Let's start with gamma rays. Gamma rays are the highest energy and highest frequency part of the EM spectrum. They're emitted from the nuclei of radioactive atoms and found in cosmic rays from the sun. Because radiation can kill cells, they're used to treat cancer. However, too much exposure to gamma rays can cause mutations in cells which can lead to cancer. X-rays are the next highest frequency wave. They pass through skin and muscle but are absorbed by bone, so are excellent for imaging. But again, too much exposure can lead to mutations and cancer, so doctors won't x-ray babies, and you shouldn't have an x-ray too often. It's important that you talk about x-ray imaging when describing uses, rather than just referring to the name of the wave, x-ray, because otherwise it looks like you're just repeating the word in the question, rather than describing the use. X-rays are used to make x-ray images. Next comes ultraviolet light. It's used for imaging and security dyes. For example, this five pound note glows under UV light. We call this fluorescence. Deep sea creatures like moon jellyfish and some coral also glow under UV light. This is called bioluminescence. UV does have its dangers. It can lead to sunburn and skin cancer or melanoma. That's why we need to use sun cream in the summer. Next we have visible light or the visible spectrum made up of seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Visible light is used for seeing, obviously, and imaging, such as taking photos or using a microscope. At high intensity, it's also used for cutting and printing. Visible light is only dangerous at very high intensities, such as lasers. It can cause blindness and burns if we're exposed to a very high intensity light source. Because it can cause permanent damage or permanently change the shape of the cornea, we use lasers to perform laser eye surgery. Next we have infrared radiation. This is how heat is transferred to us from the sun. We use IR for cooking and for sending signals to electronic devices, 
such as remote controls, and also for thermal imaging. Because IR is a wave, it can reflect off shiny or white surfaces, which is why you can switch on a television by bouncing the signal from a remote control off the wall. They're also used for telecommunications, such as to send signals like the internet down optical fibres. If you have fibre broadband, it's using IR. We're moving to the low energy end of the spectrum now and the low frequency end, so the only danger from infrared is burns. Next up we have microwaves. These are used for cooking in microwave ovens and for telecommunications. Your mobile phone sends signals as microwaves to cell towers. We also use microwaves to send signals to satellites. Because microwaves are so low energy and low frequency, they're not dangerous. They're only dangerous at the frequency used by microwave ovens, because this makes water molecules vibrate, and so cook. As we are mostly made of water, if you climb inside a microwave oven, you too will be cooked. So don't. But all other frequencies of microwave are perfectly safe. Finally, we have radio waves. These are the lowest frequency, longest wavelength waves in the EM spectrum. They're used for communications such as sending radio signals over long distances, or short range for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So to summarise, these are the higher energy parts of the spectrum. They can cause cancer. The middle frequencies can cause burns, with visible light causing blindness if too bright a light shines into your eye. Microwaves and radio waves don't really have any risks associated with them because they're very low energy. You're safe unless you climb into a microwave oven. Gamma radiation is used to treat cancer. X-rays, ultraviolet and visible light are used for imaging. Microwaves and IR are used for cooking. And microwaves, IR and radio waves are used for communications. Keywords. Wave, a method of transmitting energy without transferring matter. Oscillations or vibrations, moving repeatedly back and forth. Transverse, a wave whose oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave. Frequency, the number of waves per second, measured in hertz. Wavelength, the distance from peak to peak, trough to trough, or the equilibrium position to the peak, the trough, and back to the equilibrium position again. And the electromagnetic spectrum, a collection of transverse, non-mechanical waves. <laughs>